okay in an accelerated fluids in the sense if the whole beaker or the system is moving with acceleration towards right side what is the pressure difference between two points rho adik badala l h rho g l rho a right side left side okay what is the relation between what is angle of inclination h by l so h by l is equal to what is the relation with acceleration a by g h vertical a horizontal acceleration correct no okay so h horizontal height uh -uh. vertical height l horizontal length is equal to a acceleration a vertical acceleration okay so this much we have seen then we have seen about manometer also and barometer barometer also then okay before getting into uh, <coughs> barometer let us see one more thing suppose uh, if it is a beaker water fluid on the bottom what is the pressure P naught plus H rho G. Inge, inge bande bolo. Hmm? Same, same. Ah, uh, inge. Hmm? Inge. Inge. Rumba, rumba. Inge, inge. Students, inge. Zoom. Inge, inge, inge. Okay, that is for people who are sitting. On the other part of the world, online students. Okay, so inge, what is the pressure? Hmm? Half. Same. Here also same. Pressure doesn't have any particular direction. What we said for that iso isotropic. So pressure will be happening in every direction. But what? What is the pressure on this this point? Sub H. Then what is pressure here? So on the floor, on the floor. Yes, you are excused. Wanga, welcome. So, those who are coming to the class, in my class, just come sit. Okay, right. <laughs> okay. So, on the top, it is P0. Middle, it is P0 plus H by 2 rho G. On the bottom, so, uh, if, if, it, if someone asks the bottom, we have a clear answer. That it is nothing but P0 plus H rho G. But side wall, side wall is there. Suppose if we extend this, okay, just like this, this is a side wall, side wall area, then the thing is we will be able to tell only average pressure. We will be able to say only average pressure. So, the pressure on the side wall will be H rho G by 2. Okay. So, not it down. On the side wall, H rho G by 2. <coughs> Clear? And along with this, always this pressure P naught, no. So, absolute pressure is asked then p naught plus h rho by 2 otherwise gauge pressure means h rho g by 2 clear or what Okay, so we have discussed about barometer. We were discussing about barometer. So, the barometer was what? Okay, here mercury will be there, mercury and a tube. So, if you 
keep a vacuum tube this is vacuum okay vacuum so if this is hg okay hg or water or alcohol what maybe whatever fluid we keep here what will happen since if we keep it somewhere suppose if the atmospheric pressure is p naught in order to maintain this at p naught what will happen this liquid will what will happen it will raise through that tube it will raise through that tube and if this height can be measured like h then pressure here that is p naught is going to be h rho g okay this height measured height rho will be the density of mercury and the g will be the acceleration due to gravity if if we keep this barometer at some place and if we are able to observe fine say for example if we while observing okay we keep barometer then we are observing 100 centimeter h is equal to 100 centimeter then what will be the atmospheric pressure at that place h rho g will be 100 into 10 raised to minus 2 into rho is 13 600 into 10 how much will be this so this this can be cancelled off so how much will be the pressure here 1.36 into 1 2 3 4 5 10 raised to 5 pascal pressure will be there at that place correct or what a little more than the usual atmospheric pressure correct so this is how it is going to be okay clear so shall we do one problem Yes. <coughs> what is the pressure? Barometer setup. Tube is inclined at an angle 30 degree. This is mercury. Now what will be the atmospheric pressure? Okay, what answer you are getting? Aslam. Mm. 25 hmm? 25 25 cm of mercury pressure hmm. 25 into density of mercury 25 into density of mercury this is how okay ah, any other answer 8 point hmm. Any other answer? So, Aslam was correct. Babari. Okay. Hmm. Answer. 3.4 into either never. Okay. Any other answer? Done? Clear? Okay. So, taking, we will be taking pressure is equal to <coughs> H rho G 
so this h here is going to be 500 <coughs> sin so if we consider this as the length we can resolve this like a l cos theta and this distance will be how much yeah, that is the vertical length so i am interested only in that okay again and again we have seen vertical length into h into rho is 30 into so sine 30 is 1 by this is 250 so okay 250 into 136 double zero into 10 correct so this is centimeter so 10 raised to minus 2 so if you solve this how much we are getting this is the answer we are getting okay then correct done so always give preference to vertical height okay so for understanding that only we have taken this problem clear <coughs> okay students the next thing is manometer okay manometer manometer where is this So in manometer what we do suppose if we have okay suppose if we have a gas or something in a container we need to understand the pressure of that one we need to understand the pressure of that gas so here a tube will be connected like this okay and this will be open this will be open so we may have something here okay maybe gas or anything something say for example gas this gas because of its pressure it will come like this now from here onwards sometimes we will have another thing mostly we will be filling this with the mercury okay this is mercury and till this part gas okay so here this is connected atmospheric pressure will be there okay now what we do in order to understand the pressure of this gas we take this point and we will take this point horizontal direction okay the pressure will be equal suppose if this is a point a and if this is point b then point b will be this can be measured this is h this can be measured so pressure at point b will be p naught plus what h density of mercury into g okay so this will be equal to what pressure at a so this is the pressure of the gas this is the simple concept of manometer clear or what okay so we will consider the pressure in the horizontal plane and we will equate the pressure and we will find out whatever we need to find clear or what fine so we'll do a problem okay you can note down if you want uh, if you have already noted on leave otherwise take this problem okay
here this is the setup okay so what is the pressure of the gas what is the pressure of the gas clear what is the pressure of the gas so that height water mercury everything is given this fluid can be something else also okay but we should consider then h rho g that density of that fluid So these are the options find the pressure of the gas okay You can tell the answers if you don't want to make O's you can show action also but keep telling the answers C C or D E <laughs> okay it's C C okay so here the pressure of the gas okay suppose this is point A this is going to be point B so pressure at point A pressure at point A will be equal to pressure at point B correct so <coughs> what is this height at pressure B this is going to be P naught plus what is this height okay the total height is 8 centimeter this is given as 6 centimeters so this is going to be 6 centimeter so we do 1.01 .01 into six hundred ten. so this will be the pressure of the gas this is going to be the pressure of the gas easy right all of you understood that's it fundamentals are clear then this is going to be easy so we will be getting 1.09 into 10 raised to 5 while dealing this while dealing this make it into 10 raised to 5 so that calculations will be easy okay make this part into 10 raised to 5 then things will be very easy clear okay another problem <coughs>
okay so what is the pressure of the gas what is the pressure of the gas gas is there oil is also there okay now this will come till this point okay that is given as 1.5 centimeter so this is 0.75 1.5 centimeter in the tube we have mercury able to understand hmm? so what is the pressure of the gas okay so one more detail is there density of the oil is given 820 kilogram per meter cube density of the oil is also given Shall I do? Hmm? Okay, do it fast. Okay, so getting any answer? See, look here, children. Now I am going to do the approach. Okay. I told you see exactly this point at this point at this point this oil is coming okay so I am interested in the same horizontal point on the other side this is A this is B so pressure at B pressure at B is going to be P naught plus P naught plus <coughs> this length this length is going to be 0 0.75 plus 1.5 oh, oh this is uh, aslam you have taken this as centimeter yes. okay that could be the reason this will be i'm sorry okay then this will be very easy no okay so this total height okay will be how much 1.5 meter plus 0 0.75 meter this is going to be the h and density of the mercury into 10 this is the pressure at point b correct now the pressure at point a pressure at point a will be uh, due to the pressure of the gas something will be there, but this length we don't know okay so pressure due to gas we can keep it there okay so h rho of gas 
into g should come but we do not know the height density no other details of the gas so we will put it as pg itself this is what we need to find now this plus this all its height 1 plus 1.5 so this much height this vertical height we have oil so 1 Rho 820 into G, which is 10. Okay, now we have only one unknown. This thing will be cancelled out. Okay, not cancelled out. This we know anyway. This thing. So, right. So, PA is equal to PB. So, if you do P naught plus, okay, 1.5 plus 0 0.75, 136 100 into 10 is equal to this is going to be pressure of the gas plus 2.5 into 820 into 10 simplify this will be getting the value of the gas simplify this will be getting the value of the gas clear that is the answer done okay clear any confusion <coughs> How much anyone got this answer? Three point eight into ten raised to five Pascal will come. Okay, clear. or what fine so nothing is there just see the pressure at this point okay whatever kind of question on manometer if you get just concentrate on the pressure at this point take the exact opposite point find h rho g plus p naught and just find it out okay the things will be clear so always concentrate on the horizontal pressure will be equal shall i raise this okay Another category of problems that we get from this type is YouTube. Okay, YouTube. So, tube like this will be given. Here, we will fill with the different types of fluids with the different densities okay say for example sometimes okay this is one fluid here we will keep a uh, valve then another fluid okay this is another fluid with a different density okay say for example uh, if this density is more okay density is like a 10 suppose if this density is 5 what will happen pressure will be more in this side and this will push it up so due to the pressure difference which is done due to that density difference of the fluid what will happen this will raise a little and it will come up to this remaining all the things will be and this will come down so previously this much was there okay height now this much some x distance down and here that x distance came okay this category of problems we used to get so how do we solve this we will concentrate at these points this point and this point okay height we will example this is h1 now h suppose if this is point b 
and if this is point A, <coughs> we will be interested in here. So height B, height A. So density of this liquid we know. Okay, density of A, and this is suppose if this is density of B, then what we will do? P A is equal to what? P B. So H A rho A into G will be equal to H B into rho B into G. So <coughs> this x difference all these things we will be able to find it out. Firstly, suppose if this is the case, this is the case. So total height H B, then this height we will have to subtract. HB then what we will write here this is going to be HA plus X this side it is going to be what HB minus X into rho B into H effectively how much liquid is there that much height into its density into G if we equate them finally we will be able to understand what is X that's it nothing else okay so we'll do problems okay so small explanation okay then problems problems will make our concepts strong okay that's it Okay, see next situation. Okay, so three, uh, three, uh, three fluids. Okay, three fluids. So one is at three gram per centimeter cube. Its density is three gram per centimeter cube. Another fluid here. This is two gram per centimeter cube. Third fluid is there. Its density is one gram per centimeter cube. So all are at equal height now. 10 centimeter 10 centimeter 10 centimeter every boundary everything is closed okay now army people are going to move so valve is opened no boundary okay what will happen crossing of boundary will happen or what correct so what will happen in the, in the, in the one gram per centimeter cube will exert more pressure and it will move to this side no okay so what will happen 3 gram per centimeter cube will exert more pressure and it will displace so how much displacement will happen point x that is the question okay clear uh, anyone is confused anyone has any problem any concern any manavali no issues first uh, first time coming to the class Aishwarya Akshaya. Uh, Akshaya, do you have any problem in understanding this? Yar soli kurtanga in the pressure horizontal two point pressure will be same nala. Munadi thiri madala. Thiri adala. Muda nambikya. Someone sir is telling pressure will be horizontally this will be same. So I na nambi te. Abdiya. Hmm? Do you have any doubt? Okay, we'll go through the previous class notes. Already gone through? <laughs> okay, so you can just believe static fluid. 
ஃப்ளூயிட் வந்து நிம்மதியாக எப்படி நின்று இருக்கிற ஃப்ளூயிட் ஓகே ஜஸ்ட் பீக்கர் வாட்டர் வாட்டர் போட்டில் வாட்டர் எவ்ரி திங் ஹோரிசோண்டல் பாயிண்ட்ஸ் ப்ரெஷர் வில் பி சேம் ஓகே கிளியர் ஸோ பேஸ்ட் ஆன் தேட் ஓன்லி வி ஆர் டூயிங் ஆல் திஸ் ஓகே ஸோ தோஸ் ஹூ காட் த ஆன்சர் டெல் மி Okay, any other answers children? That is the same answer all are getting. Okay, so the thing is once after displacement happens this fluid, this density of this fluid, this is more, so this will come down. How much this will come down? X, X it will come down. total was 10 cm so we will maintain that okay we will maintain that 10 cm it will come down by x after that what will hap happen this will go up by x that already existed liquid no that will maintain that 10 cm so this side totally it is going to be 10 plus x this side it is going to be 10 minus x clear now the pressure at this point so pressure left suppose this is this is pressure right both will be same no pressure left is left okay um this is how much 1 gram per centimeter cube this is going to be 2 gram per centimeter cube and this is going to be 3 gram per centimeter cube so what we will do 10 h h rho g of this one h rho g of this one plus x rho g of this one okay so 10 into 1 gram per centimeter into 10 okay plus then x into 2 gram per centimeter cube okay into 10 so that will be the pressure at the left side okay this will be equal to this will be equal to which is this height 10 minus x correct 10 minus x so this is going to be 10 minus x into how much is that density 3 gram per centimeter cube into 10 okay so i did not change the units because left hand side and right hand side we are equating so units will get will get cancelled off so no need to waste time on that so if you solve this are you getting x is equal to 4 cm right right that okay so try to do more questions of this type okay practice more and make yourself very comfortable with this okay once in a while keep revising it also right okay now we will get into the next topic uh, up thrust okay buoyancy and law of rotation can i erase this completed 
ओके डन ओके ओके चिल्ड्रन माइंड मैपिंग इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वाइल स्टडिंग माइंड मैपिंग इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आफ्टर स्टडिंग इमीडिएटली डोंट क्लोज द बुक एंड रिलैक्स ओके आफ्टर स्टडिंग आफ्टर स्टडी वी शुड पुट दैट चेरी ऑन द टॉप ऑफ द डसर्ट ओके चेरी ऑन द टॉप ऑफ द डसर्ट और चॉकलेट सॉस ऑन द टॉप ऑफ द डसर्ट दैट विल गिव मोर इफेक्ट नो same way so whatever you are studying not only in the class every time after studying you should stand up okay then you should imagine this you should imagine this doing mind mapping no pen paper but you are doing but don't do this every time i mean wherever pen and paper should be used at that time overall mind mapping means gone okay after studying you should do mind mapping so just imagine barometer are you able to visualize barometer Tube is there, mirror is there. Glu 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 glu. Okay, atmospheric pressure is there. In order to maintain the atmospheric pressure, what will happen? Mercury will rise. So this H O G will be equal to this atmospheric pressure. Clear? Tilted the tube. Okay, observing the rise of the liquid. raised up to somewhere around 10 cm 10 cm in this direction will we take this no no so we will make it sin theta we will make it sin theta we will find that vertical height into rho to g bus over whatever they do they let them take in this way they will take this way whatever we get we will be doing that clear so is manometer gas container connected Tube. Correct. So this will exert pressure. It will come to a little, come eh? a little down. Exactly on the opposite point, liquid height will be there. So this height H into rho of mercury into G is equal to this pressure. So the pressure of this gas will be what? This pressure. Let them put kerosene, oil, gas. based on each one's height if gas uh, density of the gas is given h ro g plus h ro g of this one plus h ro g of how much is there okay till that tube how much is there that we will take h ro g or pressure it will be equal to the right side mercury height density into g clear so we will equate that we will be able to find the pressure Mano me uh, YouTube based on the mercury, ba but not based on the density. It will move. If this side they have given two gram per centimeter cube, this side also they have given two gram per centimeter cube. In the middle they have given three gram per centimeter cube. How you will can calculate which side it will move? If they are of equal quantity, it will be in the balance. will be in equilibrium if they are not not of equal height if when the valve opens it will come to equal height if the quantity is same if the quantity is same otherwise they will be giving some hint in the question so anyway whatever happens two points pressure will be always equal two points pressure will be always equal so with that sense of mind if you approach we will be able to get clear or what right so next you put the heading buoyancy and archimedes principle okay so buoyancy first we will see <coughs> buoyancy up thrust buoyancy or up thrust so this is nothing but uh suppose if you have gone through swimming pool or ponds or anything just for a fun okay if if you want to pull someone up okay from the water when you pull easily you will be able to pull him up or pull her up but after the whole body came out of the water oh, <laughs> you will also fall down right so what is happening inside the water you are 
or high weight or our weight will be less the reason is inside the fluid this is the property of a fluid fluid means water also <coughs> liquid are also fluid then gas is also a fluid gas is also fluid we will see that okay later it will come so it will uh, exert an upward force okay all fluids will exert an upward force so when this exert an upward force okay if there is an upward force then mg will be acting no the effect of this mg will be less so that is the reason inside the fluid the weight of a person will feel like less okay so we'll get into the apparent weight all those details soon now first we need to understand is what is buoyancy or up thrust okay so this is nothing but if a body is fully or partially okay pars partially immersed in a fluid in a fluid the fluid exert an upward force okay this is called up thrust this is called up thrust or buoyancy okay up thrust or buoyancy <coughs> okay so this is what is up thrust or buoyancy so along with this we can see Archimedes principle so Archimedes says that okay Archimedes says that this upward force upward force or buoyancy is equal to the fluid displaced by it okay equal to the weight of the fluid correctly saying equal to the equal to weight of fluid displaced by it okay so that will be the up thrust or buoyancy easy thing is we have taken a beaker full of water full water okay if we move the hands over the beaker hands will be wet full then you are keeping the beaker inside another basin another bigger vessel and what you are doing is you are just slowly you are placing a mass or a particle in it so based on the density of that particle either it will fully go down or it will float there or it will be half ball means it will be on the top of the water a little will be inside if you are putting short put no that iron ball it will go inside so based on different different densities you can put something the water will come out that is this is replacing some water okay now you take that water measure its weight measure its weight not mass measure its mg not mass measure its mg weight that is force you are getting say for example 2 newton 2 newton that 2 newton is the upward force or buoyancy okay how much water this body is replacing that much will be the up thrust okay that much will be the upward force the thing is like uh, this this uh, there is a story no Archimedes. there was a king and uh, uh, so what happened is uh, he needs to know whether uh, something he is making what kiridama throne 
Hmm? Okay, so that is made of real gold or duplicate gold. We need to understand. So the goldsmith will be making the so whatever he does, no one will have access. No one will understand whether he is mixing something is something else or it is pure gold or something else. So if it is pure gold, then its weight will be different. Its weight will be different. So definitely, <coughs> uh, based on the pure gold, real thing, original thing, and duplicate, same thing. If you put in the <coughs> water, what will happen? One thing will replace different amount of water. The other will replace different amount of water. So if you measure these two, definitely we will understand that whether he is <coughs> cheated or not. So but this uh, king made such strong statements like uh, if this is not found, he will be killed. So this will, the fellow was making bath. Na? In bath, the, yes. then he got this idea. Then from there he ran. Na? saying what eureka eureka and maybe in their language uh, something a uh, expression of happiness or found out found out maybe that is the meaning i do not know so that is the thing here understood or what so children once again if you are moving inside the water okay uh, water or fluid will exert a pressure uh, force in the upward direction <coughs> that is called the buoyancy or upthrust this buoyancy or upthrust will be equal to the water displaced by the body. Simply we can say that this is nothing but equal to the weight of the fluid displaced by it. Right? This is nothing but the how much amount, how much volume of the body is inside the water. <coughs> Suppose if you are jumping you are jumping okay imagine yourself okay practical class only only pack everything imaginary practical okay jumped you thought this is something water or something else but that's that was something else not water the density is different so you, you did not you are not drowning this time only half of it inside the water remaining half if it is upward if it is like this then what is the how upward force half of your volume half of your volume into density of us density of the fluid density of the fluid into g okay so how much volume is inside the water that much is the water or fluid replaced so we can say that upward force or buoyancy is equal to the weight of the fluid displaced by it or we can say uh, the volume of the uh, um, body immersed in the fluid into density of the fluid into g so that is the reason we won't be weight of the fluid weight of the body displaced weight of the body displaced will have density also okay i will explain simply Okay, in a simple way, we'll explain all that. This is the Archimedes principle. Clear or what? Okay. Let us see. Okay, shall I raise this? Okay, done. Okay, say. a body this is a body okay p naught will be there and here p1 a is there okay p1 a is there okay there will be p2 a p2 a so i could say that uh, p naught a is also there so P2A, the P2A will be how much? Suppose if I consider height H1, this is H1, H1, and this is H2, say this L. Okay, so how much will be P2A? 
P naught plus this is density of fluid density of liquid okay so what is how much will be P2A P naught plus H2 rho G H2 rho G how much will be P1A P naught plus H1 rho G H1 rho G so uh, upward force is going to be now this force will be more than this force because h1 is more than h2 correct or what ah, okay, sorry p2a will be more than p1a p2a will be more than p1a the reason is only difference here it is h1 and h2 since this height is more definitely p2a will be p2a is more than p1a correct or what so this p2a minus p1a will be how much p2a minus p1a will be p0 plus h2 rho g plus this is liquid okay then minus p0 minus h1 rho g density of the liquid okay density of the liquid since this body is density is, is also going to come hereafter we will be careful about marking the density okay no there should be confusion so patak patak so this force difference is how much h2 minus h1 into rho l into g so h2 minus h1 is how much l so i could say l rho l into g uh, okay here we need to what is missing here pa a is missing no this is force this is also force this is pressure this is also pressure here also what a a correct or what so here dimensionally wrong right p naught a plus h rho h2 rho g a correct or what is it correct now agreed okay fine so that is that was missing here so i could say l l okay so what is l into a volume volume of what okay okay so p2a minus p1a is equal to volume of the body inside water or volume of the fluid displaced by the body okay so both are fine this p2a plus p1a is the net upward force due to water pressure alone mg all those things we have in considered the pressure exerted by water will create some force no because of that only up thrust is happening so we have in considered any normal reaction we have in considered any mg no other force we are concentrating only on the force due to water alone or fluid alone okay so otherwise mg and all here that we haven't touched okay clear so now this one is called up thrust so up thrust is nothing but v rho l into g where here v is see once again i am writing up thrust is equal to v rho l into g where this v is volume of body immersed in fluid immersed in liquid or we can say or volume of by the body clear and this density is density of 
fluid density of fluid g is acceleration due to gravity clear this is what is up thrust so we will write in this way this can be v m okay or v in volume inside or volume immersed or we can write liquid replaced okay so you should be very clear about it okay and this is not density of the body but density of the fluid any confusion any confusion so what is up thrust Hmm? V V Roji nalla sonna nyavathil irukkadu eppadi sonna V mm, Ro Il G okay V what V Im Ro Il G okay so never forget this when you sit for the exam now okay when we see this we should remember mm, L. someone will be looking at you why this guy is so happy writing neat exam okay clear or what children okay so uh, nonsense things we will remember okay so we will add as much nonsense as possible clear so u is equal to shall i raise this okay v m rho l g okay right mm. oh. Uh -oh. if you have completed just uh, show thumbs up children thumbs up okay done okay fine that p naught into a okay p naught plus p2 into a p1 a forget all these things okay just for understanding purpose only we said that here after up thrust only up thrust upward row v in row g over easy no over done uh, and the, all those confusions are not required now children see weight of the body mg sometimes they will give in the question no weight of the body is so and so kg okay we should understand that that is nothing but mass weight of the body is two newton we will understand that is mg okay from the unit we should understand that okay clear so this is mg this m is nothing but volume into density what is v volume of the solid. solid volume of the solid rho okay okay this is mass so this is what is the mass of the solid mass of the solid okay not up thrust 
mass of the solid is a volume of the solid density of the solid into g okay once again up thrust up thrust is equal to what v in so now i i can't accept ah uh, v im rho and g okay see the difference okay only g is same okay now different different cases are there we will discuss that okay now next topic is law of flotation so different cases are there okay okay so weight is equal to v s g u is equal to v m rho l g this is also same as weight of the fluid replaced also okay so with the, in this const, context we can say case different cases okay first case we will take suppose suppose the density of the solid is greater than density of the liquid density of the solid is greater than density of the liquid okay we are jumping into the water okay so density of our body is greater than density of the liquid what will happen we will go inside correct we are throwing a big ball it is not going down the air inside the ball density overall density of the ball is less compared to water so it will be on the top correct we are putting short put short put no big iron ball we are putting inside it is going inside correct so density of the solid greater than density of the liquid what will happen fluid fluid what will happen the body will go to the bottom body will go to the bottom now suppose if we are keeping here a weighing scale if you are keeping there a weighing scale this body okay we we we, we have seen the weight here okay i am seeing the weight as oh 65 kg only okay okay good fine okay 65 happy now i get got into the water okay so what happened shabri kept a weighing scale there let him be happy okay ang pata oh 45 kg the weight came down correct so due to this up thrust what will happen mg will be there up thrust will be there so the apparent weight apparent weight means the weight which is visible or weight which is showing there not the real weight okay the not the real weight the apparent weight is going to be previously the real weight was mg this time since up is acting minus u okay so this is the question we can expect from this kind of case apparent weight plus nothing else mg minus u ट्रस्ट 
if I take out this will become what rho s minus rho l okay now if I take vs and g into rho s if I take out rho s if I take out I will be getting 1 minus rho l by rho s children what is this this is weight just mg so suppose if they don't give volume and all simply if they are giving weight easily we will be able to find the answer v apparent is nothing but mg into 1 minus rho l by rho s remember this density of liquid density of solid also we know weight is no just apply this formula get the answer clear Case 2 is nothing but density of the solid is equal to density of the fluid. Density of solid is equal to density of the liquid. Okay, so if both are same, what will happen? Body will float. Okay, completely. submerged in water submerged in liquid just like this this is the water or fluid whatever it may be the body will be here okay it will be on the top floating but the body will be completely inside clear that is the second case. <clears throat> See, in the previous case, actually, in the previous case, since the body is here, mg is acting in this direction, upthrust is acting in this direction. We cannot say upthrust and mg are equal. There is difference. mg is more, actually. That is why we said mg minus upthrust is the apparent weight this is in equilibrium considering the forces of normal reaction of this ground suppose if this this normal reaction is also considered that normal reaction plus up thrust is equal to mg correct then only we will be able to say that is in equilibrium okay but in this case in this case what we can say that mg is equal to up thrust mg is equal to up thrust that is in equilibrium with the mg is equal to up thrust okay so this is an equilibrium with the mg is equal to up thrust itself clear so suppose if we take apparent weight apparent weight is what mg minus u allava mg minus u then apparent weight okay so what will be this zero this is going to be zero so this is weightless it will be weightless inside the water okay weightless inside the water clear <clears throat> okay third case third is 
so previously the first case was density of the body was greater than density of the liquid then density of the solid became equal to liquid now this time density of the solid is less than density of the liquid so the effect will be body will float with a part with a part submerged in liquid okay so just like this okay just a part of the body will be in part will be outside air or what so just like a boat ship ball and all they will make a vacuum inside or air inside the body such that it they will make it in such a way that density of the whole body will be lesser than the density of the liquid to the area it is covering how much area is there that much area they will put that arrangement they will make sure that density of the whole body will be less than the density of the liquid okay and they will make sure that only a part is inside the water clear so this is how it is going to be so here also apparent weight is so what is the effect here what is the effect here mg mg is not greater than upthrust less than upthrust okay because density of the solid is less than the density of the liquid so still what weight apparent is zero negative actually negative actually at least we can say this is going to be weightless okay clear not negative we cannot say negative because if it is negative it will fly it is not like that but it is not balanced it is not equal also so that is why we don't get into the more business of this we can understand that this is going to be weightlessness clear so that is the third case <coughs> okay so shall we do some problem of this Is this children? Okay, so based on the case, based on the case, what we need to do? What is weight apparent? Mg, Mg minus u. Weight apparent is Mg minus u. And what is up thrust? V m rho l into g. What is the weight mg? What is the weight of the body? V s rho s g. Okay, right. Now we can we'll do some problems. is the up thrust <coughs> we'll go start with the simple ones and slowly we will get into law of flotation so this is water simply the question is what is up thrust Hmm. 
What is the answer? Up thrust is equal to into G. What is V in this much volume? Correct. We are interested in this volume. How much is that volume? Area into length. So area is given as 2 cm square 2 into 10 raise to minus 4 into this much length only we need, right? So this into 4 into 10 raise to minus 2 into density of the water is how much? 10 power 3. Okay, into 10. Okay, so 10 raise to 10 cube and 10 patok over. Okay, so this is going to be 8 into 10 raise to minus 2. Okay, over. What is this unit? Newton. 8 into 10 raise to minus 2 Newton. Okay, clear. Another question. Some fluid. Okay, so... <coughs> A solid is inside its density is 1600 kilogram per meter cube okay and this is alcohol its density okay is given as 800 meter cube okay mass of the solid is given as 0. Mass of the solid is given as 0.4 kilogram. Data is 1 by fifth of volume of solid is used in liquid. Okay. What is the apparent weight? What is the apparent weight? Actually, um, technically speaking, technically speaking, here density of solid is more than the density of the liquid. It should go down. But question is given like this. So you just do one thing. What thing? Apparent weight is equal to just do u minus uh, what? Uh, mg minus u. You can do like that. Okay. Clear. So, W apparent is equal to mg minus u. What is mg? 0 0.4 into 10 minus u is V immersed density of the liquid into g. Correct. So, 0 0.4 into 10 minus how much volume is inside? 1 by 5 of total volume so so we immersed one uh, one by fifth into total volume now total volume is given density by, yes. density by, mass. by mass so density of the solid is given right 1600 divided by mass is given as 0 0.4 okay into density of the liquid is 800 into 10 bus <coughs> clear <coughs> okay so this is going to be how much mass by density, ah, mass by density. Okay, how much you will be getting? This is 4 minus, how much is this? 
3.6 will come right sorry 0 0.4 will come so total 3.6 newton will come correct so how this is compensated here if density this full density is more than this water actually this should come down but adjustment should be made in such a way that inside this thing what should be there more volume of less dense material should be there then only it will be able to float here okay so leave it this is the thing which we need to apply clear or what Shall I raise this? Shall I raise this step? So in a case where mg is equal to upthrust, which case was that? Okay, mg is equal to upthrust. So we can do like a rho l into g. So this G, G can be cancelled off. This is but how much is the uh, height of the solid? How much is the height of the solid into area? So we can write the like, like, okay into rho s. This is equal to weight of the immersed body weight of the immersed body this this one or not weight the volume of the immersed part so if this will have an area this will have an into what will be the height of this h height immersed height immersed height immersed into rho l plus so again i can cancel this a a i can cancel this a a so height of the solid divided by height of the immersed part to density of the liquid divided by density of the solid so height of the solid density of the solid height of the water replaced okay this is same as the height of the liquid replaced and this is density of the liquid just like g by a is equal to hmm? l by l by h correct no otherwise we will make this mistake if we understand this is cross then this will be there okay so same way dense the height of the solid equal to density of the liquid height of the immersed part or height of liquid replaced is equal to rho l by rho s okay remember this so that you can avoid all the other things and directly do this and get the answer So one, one relation is volume of the solid into density of the solid is equal to volume of immersed into density of the liquid. Okay, same way this is also 
height of the solid into density of the solid is 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 water replaced into density of the liquid in this way also you can remember the okay children fine so uh, i will give one question okay just remember this data and do it okay so this is floating this is floating like this so here outside is 3l by 4 okay outside is 3l by 4 so this is water 10 raised to 3 kilogram per meter cube okay this much is given this is in equilibrium this is in equilibrium what is the density of the solid that that is the question So that is a handout keep it with you uh, in between in between the sessions I will be pointing some questions from that and we will be doing okay okay clear so these kind of questions you know illustration problems okay just for this I will be giving like this in between we will be doing the problems from that also okay clear children okay now what about this one what is the density of the liquid Hmm? 250 yeah. okay okay so here density of the solid we do not know height of the solid into density of the solid is equal to height of the immersed part into density of the liquid or height of the liquid replaced height of the liquid replaced into density of the solid what is height of the solid 3 by 4 plus 1 by 4 only right so to be l density of the solid how much is the height of the liquid replaced l by 4 density of the liquid is 10 raised to 3 correct or what total so this is going to be okay 0.25 into 10 raised to 3 250 kilogram per meter cube clear or what okay so lot of data are there but you can deal this question in a matter of five seconds okay remember this relation clear okay another question <coughs> okay so the thing is like uh, an iceberg iceberg okay i will be giving data like this iceberg okay iceberg so this is 0 0.9 gram per centimeter cube what is this part okay 0 0.9 gram per centimeter cube density okay okay floats on sea water floats on sea water okay its density density of sea water is 1.1 gram per centimeter cube 1.1 gram per centimeter cube fraction of ice visible to ship fraction of ice visible to ship fraction of ice visible to ship options <coughs> hmm. answer so here 
again hs rho s is equal to h of liquid replaced into liquid correct so here <coughs> they are asking fraction of i is visible to ship let us see how much is inside hl divided by hs is equal to what rho of l by rho of s according to this formula what is available this is height of the liquid this is height of the height of the solid immersed in liquid or height of the liquid replaced divided by height of the solid full height so actually what is this this is fraction inside the c correct this is the fraction inside the c understood or what are you able to understand clear tangam anta tangam okay so what is this children uh, uh, density of liquid replaced density liquid replaced how much 1.1 divide by iceberg 0.9 hmm? okay ah okay rho s divide by rho l so this is density of the solid 1.0.9 and this is 1.1 so how much is this 9 by 11 so this is actually 9 by 11 actually this will be there this will be there ah, oh god the answer <laughs> happy four marks yes 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 okay enna kadikum nimmadi kadikum mark kadikuma mark kadikadu actually this answer is how much children this is uh how much is inside this is 9 this is 11 this is this answer correct or what 9 by 11 is inside means this is the answer we are getting the answer is coming as how much fraction is inside the c only we will be getting when we use this relation getting or what all of you nitish clear or what all of you mm, 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 uh, seeing the face i think sudarshan did not understand Under, understood okay understood or what okay see okay yes. now the answer is what pa so the answer is 2 by 11 answer will be 2 by 11 the balance will be outside so it is going to be Where? Okay, make it. This is the answer. Clear? Done. Okay, fine. Okay. I will give you one question as homework. Please do it and tell me the answer tomorrow. Okay. Okay. So in there What is this? Water. Hmm? In go to solid. Okay. Uh, this is ice. Okay. Okay. So water density 1 g per cm3 cube. Ice 0.9 g per cm3 cube. okay okay then clear understood okay so iduk mele iduk mele this is just for your understanding kerosene will not be like this i agree just for your understanding another ma material okay so this is nothing but kerosene okay kerosene 0.8 g per cm3 cube g per cm3 cube okay now this system is in equilibrium 
This is in equilibrium. Equi mm -hmm. Equi ratio of length of ice present in water to kerosene. Ratio of ratio of length of ice length of ice in water to length of ice in what children kerosene that so this is the question okay take this options also one is one is to what okay do this and tell me the answer tomorrow even if you have finished also no need to tell it now tomorrow you can tell okay Okay, take that uh, uh, hand out children. Go to question number one. Okay, simple question. Simply, still, we will finish that. A solid of density D is floating in a liquid of density small d. If V is the volume of solid submerged in liquid, that is small v small v is the volume of solid submerged in the liquid and capital v is the total volume of the solid okay and then chinna volume divided by peria volume is equal to what So this is floating, Leah. This is floating. So, M U so, of the solid, which is given as what? Capital D, Leah. Into capital density is density of the solid. Okay. Into G. Correct. This is equal to <coughs> upthrust. Upthrust means volume of the uh, solid inside so that is small v in density density of the fluid upthrust means density of the fluid into g correct so g g will be cancelled of what they are asking the small v divided by capital v will t will be capital d divided by small d Correct option B. Simple no. Okay. So next question there we will do later because okay. Okay, just keep the handouts inside. We will continue. Then after seeing this uh, dynamic flu, we will see the remaining questions okay so children uh, static fluid static fluid that is fluid at rest is done um, pascal's law is not there in neat syllabus according to the last year circular okay they have kept the same syllabus even still the same syllabus is there in the website which website nta website will refer to medical council of india website mci okay so after rechecking that is what okay so uh, static fluid is done now next module in this is dynamic fluid there we will be having continuity equation bernoulli's theorem strokes uh, all those things will come viscosity everything will come 